Hey everyone, I'm Noren Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today, 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 we are checking out Creature Caster's brand new model, The King of Ecstasy. Now, before we go into this, this is not a sponsored video by any stretch of the imagination. This is just Creature Caster being Creature Caster and me absolutely loving demons. Okay, I have, uh, I, I love demon models, okay? I have a collection, I have a demon army. Uh, I don't actually play it that much. I'm growing it for the studio itself. So I do want to take a minute to sit right here and tell you about this model and give you my reaction to it. So if you guys don't know what Creature Caster is, uh, you're dumb. At, at this point, there is, there is no other way of saying it other than how do you not know what Creature Caster is? They are literally awesome at everything that they do forever. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to take a look at Creature Caster's stuff really quickly. And they are one of the coolest, coolest, hands down, coolest model, per, uh, like, they make some of the coolest demon models you'll ever see anywhere, okay? I have one of their models. They were gracious enough to give me one of their models back in the day, which then became Ego, which you guys have seen if you follow me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, or are in my Discord. I post it quite a lot. I'm super excited for it. And I'm super excited to actually showcase more of these as we go, um, showcase more of this stuff as I get more of it because I absolutely love their models. So right off the bat, we're just gonna go to their models. Do, 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 do. And I just wanna show you some of my favorites. Like, uh, you guys should actually recognize this model as appearing on the channel quite a bit. This is the one that I use for Ego. This is the one that I desperately want because, oh my God, look at this model in just a second. Wait for it. My computer's being slow, so I do apologize about that. This model looks incredible. Their attention to detail is absolutely amazing. They are super, super amazing. Like, I can't stress enough how glorious this model looks. Like, hands down, it is absolutely incredible. Okay, now... I, you know, I play 40k a lot. I also play some Age of Sigmar. Not a lot, but I do. Um, I tend to use these as my keepers of secrets. Uh, they are big enough for one. Um, they're actually a little bit bigger. I've also used, uh, I want to use this one for Martarian. This one for, boop. I want to use this one for Martarian. Um, as you guys know, I like my demon armies very unique and very specialized to my aesthetic, my choices aesthetically. And GW's Nurgle demons don't really do it for me. I kind of like this because it is, it is feminine, powerful, and yet disgusting, but horrifically beautiful. It's all of their stuff. All of their stuff is a work of art. Every bit of it looks absolutely incredible uh, I think they make like one model that I don't like and even that one it's it's a still amazing this one I definitely want to use as either fate weaver or like uh, Magnus because just look at it it looks incredible the coloration the pose itself the uh, it it almost looks like it's casually dismissing the person like oh you don't even stand a chance go away small child i don't have time for you i love it i love their demons now i like biblical demons as well i have quite a few of them memorized uh, mostly christianic and gaelic uh, there are a few differences between the two but i love their take on demons i think they look incredible the attention to detail is astronomical and overall, they just make a really, really, really amazing product. So if you're playing any type of tabletop game, role-playing game, D&D game, and you need demons that are big, tough, and scary, you need a level 10 demon for your party to go up against, you go to Creature Caster. 
you get yourself a demon, you put it on the tabletop, you scare the hell out of your team. If you are playing any Fantasy Flight games and you want to run a unique demon, if you are playing any of the actual tabletop games that require demons, I would highly suggest Creature Caster. Again, this is not in any way sponsored. I just think that they are 100% incredible. Okay, that's just, that's strictly me. So I want to check out, I, I love this model. I absolutely adore this model. I want this one so badly. It is so beautiful. The, the level of detail on its legs, the level of detail on its base, all of the different arms and everything. Oh, it's just, it's a glorious model. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's take a look at the King of Excess. Yo, look at that. Yo, he's got a cod piece. He's got the buff chest. He's actually standing like he's dominant. He's got a goat-ish type head. The headdress looks amazing on this model. The extra arms, though, they do look a little bit much. You can see all the scarring and everything on him. Like, look at this. The attention to detail on these small things here. This is what gets me. This is why I think Creature Caster makes an incredible model. Not only do they look beautiful as is, just the level of detail that they have is absolutely incredible. Like, and they don't skimp out either. There's markings inside markings here, which is really cool. Like the skull here has damage on it. The tattered cape, the tattered capes underneath this as well. And their prints are actually incredible, though you do need to wash them. Keep that in mind, you do need to wash them for any type of resin or anything. Similar to that of a, of a Forge World miniature. Oh my god, that headdress. And like, look at all the scarring on the arm itself. The nose, the wrinkles on the face. It's details like this that make a perfect model. Like, even the fact that they have the wrinkles here on the arm. Oh, man. And the weapon. The weapon choice is actually pretty unique, too. Oh, the spinal cord and everything going down. I'm not too big a fan of that face. Actually, kind of looks like something out of Darksiders. Or, um, Dark Souls. Or even, like, um... Oh, what is that one? Darkness. Uh, I know, that's so cringy. But darkness. Hmm. Kind of almost has a Joker-ish feel to it. So I'm not a fan of this head. I like the other head a little bit better. Though it is cool to see him as spear and shield. So definitely, definitely a lot of cool things just in this model itself. I like the goat head a little bit better. I think it looks much better. It's more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion than the regular face. I can't wait to get this model. The second I can, the second I have free income, free income, don't you wish that that was an actual thing, Alexis? Yes, yes I do, I do wish that I had free income. The second that I get disposable income, um, I intend to buy this thing like immediately or get this thing and I wanna do a full painting and everything on the channel itself. I wanna do reviews of like other third party uh, miniatures as well. But Creature Casters looks incredible. Incredible. I love the tongue. I love the fork split right at the end. Oh. So guys, guys, here's what I want you to do. Go on over to Creature Casters uh, YouTube. You'll find the links in the description down below. Hit this subscribey thingy. Yeah, see, see, it says subscription added. And then click this bell so that you get notifications of this amazing channel and how awesome they are. And while you're doing that, you can do that to my channel as well, and I would love you forever. Anyway, guys, I want to thank everybody for joining me for this. I want to thank Creature Caster for making amazing miniatures. I want to thank you guys for giving me the idea to do a review of this, just the video reaction, and then eventually get the model itself and do a full review of it. Um, it, it is absolutely incredible, and just, just oh my god, it, it looks amazing. So, as always, I want you guys to check out the links in the description down below. There you'll find Creature Caster. You'll also, fi also find my social media where you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I do gaming on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 
this week we are currently working on uh, a Fallout 4 modded playthrough where we play a sister battle rescuing the uh, underground um, Admech facility. So, I don't know. Check it out. And while you're down there, you can check out my Patreon. Patreon goes a long way to help supporting the channel. With the Patreon, I intend to buy one of these things or several other demons from Creature Caster because I absolutely love them. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye. Boop. And clickety-bye.